Greetings, fellow YouTubers. It's Pastafarian for Life here, back from my uh, two-year hiatus. First off, I want to say I'm really surprised at the response I've received from the first two videos I made uh, way back in 2008. Uh, the Flying Spaghetti Monster Revealed Parts 1 and 2. I made those videos just to try and clear up a few misconceptions about the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and, and while I think the attempts have been somewhat successful, there's still some work I gotta do here. Also, I was shocked at the number of people who subscribed to my channel. It's not a ton of people, mind you, but enough that it surprised me. There's 130 now. That's more than I ever thought would watch the videos. Combined, they now have nearly 33,000 views, which is even more shocking to me. I even had some messages. People were asking me when I'd be making more videos. Why hadn't I made any more videos yet? What's taken me so long? Uh, truth is, I made the first two clips, uh, and then I just kind of forgot about the channel. I got busy doing some other stuff and it took me this long to come back, but now, now that I know how many people are interested in this stuff, I'll, I'll do my best to keep the channel going despite my two years off. I also saw uh, messages of a different sort, ones that prompted me to make this video here. There's a problem in the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and it's one that we have to address right now if we want the message of the FSM to remain clear. More often than you'd think, I get emails from people who've just watched my videos and ask, Is this real? They ask me, Can you tell me more about your church? I find your beliefs really interesting. And I find myself answering email after email, trying to set the record straight. So in the interest of reaching a wider audience, and perhaps those who won't take the time to send an email, I'll address this most important of misconceptions right now. The Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster is not, I repeat, not real. It was created a few years back by a guy named Bobby Henderson. Henderson is a self-proclaimed concerned citizen who saw the so-called battle between scientific evolution and dogmatic creationism playing out in the most important of places, American school boards. When the matter of whether to include the Genesis account of creation in science classes came before the Kansas school board, Henderson sent a letter to the school board detailing the Church of the FSM, which was just a creation of his own imagination and nothing more. In doing so, he was hoping to convince the school board how silly intelligent design really is. See, the FSM is merely a different version of the intelligent design story, and Henderson made it that way on purpose. It's supposed to point out how ridiculous the, the notion of ID really is. Since the FSM is just as scientifically testable as intelligent design, neither can be truly tested by science, they are both equally plausible. Being that both hypotheses, ID and the FSM, are not testable at all, they are scientifically invalid and not worth any further discussion in science classes, case closed. What everyone needs to be aware of is this. Anyone who posts comments on YouTube videos about the FSM saying, don't mock my beliefs, or the FSM is true, you should believe it. Or other people might say, I can't believe you people believe this, you're all nuts. They're either joking, or they're extremely misinformed. There's a great deal of humor associated with the FSM, and that's part of the point, that's how this thing spreads around. However, the ever-increasing popularity of the FSM has given it a type of cult status that I'm sure Bobby Henderson never imagined it would achieve. Henderson himself, didn't help matters, in my opinion, when he published the Gospel of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Many people actually believe that this is a document that is meant to promote belief in the FSM. Not at all. It is merely a piece of humorous fiction and nothing more. We must remember the true message of the FSM. That education is sacred, that intelligent design is anything but intelligent, and that scientific illiteracy in the Western world has led many people to believe that ancient creation myths hold scientific weight. They don't. My name is Pastafarian for life. While I am a Pastafarian, I am also an atheist. The FSM is not a real god, and there is no actual religion associated with it. The FSM as a message about the sanctity of education is worth spreading. As a message about what you know, waits for us after we die, it's meaningless. Although beer volcanoes and stripper factories in heaven would be pretty sweet. I would like to propose a challenge to all the YouTubers out there, just to hammer the point home. Something similar to the blasphemy challenge that happened a while back. If you remember, there was a group that wanted everybody to deny the Holy Spirit on, on YouTube videos. 
If you understand and appreciate the message for what it's worth, post a short video response in which you deny the existence of the FSM but celebrate the message. To end this video, I'll be the first to do it. My name is Pastafarian for life. While I deny the existence of the flying spaghetti monster, I hold its message dear that intelligent design is a poison that will destroy science education in the Western world if we don't fight back. Thanks for listening and spread the word.